Hi everyone, you are welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install solar panels using screw and binding wire. In my case, I'm going to use some wires, natural, normal electrical wires, because I was not able to get some binding wires. I'm doing this video to actually educate you on how to fix solar panels on roof like this. As you can see, this roof is an old roof. This house was built in the 80s in the early 80s and you see the roof is an old one now what actually happened i did this installation you can see some panels over there at the back i did the installation and i use aluminum profiles i'm going to show you the profiles i used i use aluminum profiles but after some time i use nail and hammer after about two weeks uh they called me and they told me that the roof has a lot of leakage inside and I'm here to fix it. Right now, the chain, you're able to change some part of the roof. The spots where I fixed the panels before, as you can see, there are new roofing sheets here. But at this time, I'm not going to use nail and um, profiles anymore. I'm going to use screws and I'll use my drill machine to drive the screws in the wood. And I'll use wires to tie the panels and they'll be as strong as ever. I want you to learn from my mistake in this video so that when you have this kind of installation and you're in this situation you should know what is best for you if it's those roof uh, those normal aluminum roof and uh, stone coated roof you can use your nail you can use your hammer you can use your profile but roofs such as this is not steep it's just almost flat the best way to mount panels in this kind of roof is this method i'm about to show you now what you need is this let me show you we're going to be needing a plier as you can see this is my screw uh, screwdriver this is my screwdriver then those wires i'm going to use them to tie the panels together i'm not going to use these profiles i just brought them up here so that i will show you i actually pull them off you can see i pull them off the roofing sheets they change check we check down you see that they change some roofing sheets this is the cable i use six cement cable because we have five panels five 400 watt panels over here i'm going to install the solar panels just watch me as i do that I'm going to be giving you tips on how to install it. Thank you very much. Now, this is more like it. What you do, this is the screw. The four inch screw. Take your flash band. Put it on the one of the spots. Then you drive the screw inside to this level. Because at this point, this is where one of the edges of solar panels will stay. Then on the other end, when you have put the solar panels on top of this one, then you will know the exact spot to place the other the other screw at this point let's fix the first panel on this one first the first panel is on top of the screw on that side at this point this is where the second screw should be i'll mark it out then i'll drill the screw on it then fix the panel on top it will rest like that it's never going to fall off for extra stability you can try to use some binding wires or even your electrical wire to also tie from there and from this hole under and tie it on the screw if you wish or from this hole you can connect it from this hole of this panel to the next panel you are going to place side by side with this panel one is firmly fixed we are going to do the same thing for panel two three four and five just place the panel at this point now measure the distance from here to from here to this point then also give the same distance from here to this point then that's this part this point is where your second screw should be for the second panel because i already mounted two panels this is the third panel this is what i did just check where i place the screw measure the length from this point to this edge to the edge of this frame Measure it and also double the measurements. Then that's the exact spot where you place your second screw or your next screw. You get the point? When you do that, put your flash band and use your drill machine. You can also use the, the roof is strong, but in my case, the roof is not strong, so I have to use my drill machine. Then do it like that. Once you put it on the first side, the second side, just measure, take it up a bit and measure the point where it's. it's the roof that's where you put your nail okay something happened here i got to this point and i find out that the spot i'm supposed to 
place the screw on this side there's no wood here and when i do that i'm going to create a leakage here so i had to improvise what i did this is the spot where we have the wood the screw is right here now then i'll use this wire i've passed the wire under the hood provided in the panel then i'm going to tie it tightly to this screw to hold it once i hold it twin it tightly it's going to be firm at this point as you can see i've already mounted three panels the main two i can decide to mount one here or i don't want to go to this side because they didn't work on this side of the roof this side is still very hood why would i put this remaining two down there horizontally as against placing it vertically like this there's no hard and fast tool that all the panels must be placed vertically depends on the situation on site right now the situation demands that i, should, I place the many two panels down there in order to maintain the integrity of this roof when i step my leg on this roof i don't know what my happiness so i don't want to temper this one anymore get it all right so i'm done with the mounting of the panels you can see we have five panels on the roof here's the results can see no profile just strictly nails and screws and screws and in some cases wires binding wires and even electrical wires and they are all intact thank you very much i'm done so this is how you can mount your panels mount your panels on the roof on the roof like this with just screws and a plier and uh, a hand drill acting as a screwdriver thank you very much for uh, sticking around to this point please uh, subscribe to my channel for more tips and more tutorials like this uh, we keep giving you content and please like my video and share my video thank you very much see you again